Alright, this is Avengers University issue 30 and I feel bad reviewing this because this series isn't bad but most of the points I'm going to be making with this issue are not flattering. Firstly, uh, this links it to yesterday's video. This was another book that Marvel put out that was a replacement for two really good books that ended. We had Mighty Avengers by Dan Slott of all people. And Avengers, The Initiation, they were both very great books and they got cancelled. And this single book, it was meant to be like a consolation prize. It was meant to replace them. And while Avengers University was good in its own right at points, it just fails to ever live up. To the same quality as the two previous books. And for me, it just left us wanting them two books back instead. But this issue, the bulk of my negative sentiment is all to do with this being part of Avengers vs. Excellent Men. The crossover... That made me pack in reading Marvel Comics full stop. An awful, awful story that pissed our everything and whatever it touched became vile and unpleasant. This book included the crossover. It was just a way for Alex Alfonso to shit on the excellent men and their characters while propping up the franchise that Marvel owned the movie rights to, the Avengers. The stuff today with the mutie kids fighting with the non mutie kids, they are the worst parts of this issue. It is just not interesting. And as with the rest of the crossover, the muties, they are consistently written to be as repulsive and bigoted as possible. The more enthralling stuff is the plot with the grown-ups. We have... Cheetah and Hercules Man from the Avengers. They team up with the excellent men nobody cares about. And here is another connection to that book I just reviewed. We have a crap Joshua Whedonson character who was only kept around because of who created her. They do so much mental gymnastics to justify this non muty woman who developed a cure for muties being adopted by and joining the excellent men. So the grown ups, they are teaming up because Kevin Bacon he is on the loose in their headquarters slash school. Ghoul. So we have a functioning plot here and this is followed by the only worthwhile thing done with some kids in this issue. We have a scene with Asmat Girl and X-32 and what happened with this book was around about issue 20 or thereabouts. They decided to add X-32 to the cast and suddenly X-32 was like the main character a lot of the time and you see that a lot in this issue. Although I suppose, I suppose if you're doing a story 
tie-in into Avengers vs. Excellent Men. X-32, she would be the obvious one to focus on here. So here we have a two-page fight between Kevin Bacon and Box. Where do they get their crazy names from? It is all competently told. The artwork is by Wallace Gromit, who is always good. But when I was rereading this, what happened was I got to this point. Oh, I should probably. I should actually say this was the last issue of this series that I got. I didn't think I missed much. The book was cancelled afterwards. But when I was rereading this, I was having a fairly average time. Uh, these bits with Kevin Bacon, they're like a fun superhero thing. Uh, and at least that bit with Asmat Girl and X-32, that was like actual character work. But then what happened was, I turned the page here, and suddenly I got overwhelmingly depressed about everything. Can anyone watching... Let us know if there was a reason why I would suddenly get depressed when I turned that page. Some it just really, really made me miserable and sad. Like I just got this enormous wave of regret and I felt dirty and I wanted to give up on everything. Reading this... It started to feel like I was being betrayed. It was kind of like... It's like when you get back with someone after breaking up. And you kind of know that they are just going to abuse you again. Or cheat on you again. Or break up with you again. And the relationship is never as good as it maybe once was. I started to feel like that reading this comic. I just felt disgusting and gross. And I felt like I needed a shower. Uh, best bit of the comic though is this fight with Hercules Man and Kevin Bacon. This is fun. Hercules Man, he is always fun. Fights with Hercules Man, they are always without fail fun. Though him getting beaten two pages by Kevin Bacon, that seems wrong. But Kevin Bacon beating people, that is the only victory any excellent man character can claim in this horrid crossover. If this fight had been expanded on, if it had been a few pages more, rather than... All this shite about the kids and the muty kids fighting. I'd probably have had a bit more enthusiasm for this issue. I just thoroughly ate this crossover. Avengers vs. Excellent Men. I mean, yeah, it made us stop being a Marvel fanboy. And I am glad it did, because nothing that followed it sounds any good to me. So in a way, I should be more thankful for it, but I'm not. This killed a lifelong fandom for us. I have bought, like, ten new Marvel comics since, and all ten of them were just to have a new Marvel comic to review on this channel. Uh, Cheetah versus Kevin Bacon, uh, this one is fine, but we do have the trappings of the sort of comics that will follow, because Kevin Bacon, he beats Cheetah, but then makes sure to validate her by letting the audience know that of everyone he has fought in this issue i.e. a man in some armour and a demigod. Cheetah was the only one who came close to beating him. 
Also, Cheetah. She became insufferable in this series. This series made me resent Cheetah as a character. She is just a horrible, horrible bitch in this book. I would actually stop reading there. The rest is all about children having a fight. And X-32 being positioned as the main one. Uh, not good. And this storyline ends with some proper garbage with Kevin Bacon being a hero and a saint. I don't even know why Marvel did this crossover to shit on all the excellent men, but they also said, let's make sure Kevin Bacon comes out of it favourably. I cannot recommend this. I felt so unpleasant reading it. There is, there is six good pages. The fights with Kevin Bacon, they are good. I actually expand that to eight good pages because there was that scene with Asmat Girl. There were eight good pages and that isn't even half of the comic. So I am afraid I can only give this a seven thumbs up.